All right, here we are. We got our hood on the, uh, well, hood stand. That's what we'll call it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to sand this hood off. You can see in general it doesn't look too bad. You see the reflection of light, though. You do see there's a little bit of a little bit of damage on the front of the hood. I didn't even notice that before in the car. I didn't notice until I got it in here. Um, this, hood, this hood did get uh, did get banged a little bit at some point. Um, so... You can see when I flash it through the through the light there a little bit, you can sort of see it. So when I when I get this all sanded down, I'm going to go ahead and I'll put a little I'll put a little fill on the dents there, and we'll we'll take care of that. Um, get that in. I found one other little one other little ding here. So we'll go ahead and fill it. We'll get it all fared out real nice and um, get it painted up. Got the paint, so she'll get sanded, fared, primered, painted cleared back on the car and then then we're ready to get that car uh flashed to the dealer and then inspected and and registered and back on the road so i'll take some pics as, as we get going all right i'm making myself some notes i'm taking the remote start out of this car um, we already took out the um cubby up here turned out to be no more than just you just gently pull this out it's on tabs two screws and that that just lift right out so that was easy um I'm trying to take the remote start out of this car. You can see my helper is up there starting to put the battery tray back in. I um, like to get this car out of this building. I've got another, I've got another one of our trucks needs brakes and want to get it in here. Um, so I'm trying to make myself some notes. Uh, the blue and blue and white brake signal wire goes to the uh, red yellow down at the brake pedal. Um, I did find. I guess it makes it easy for me. This was on here for years, never gave me a problem. But they didn't, uh, you know, the installer. I had this. I bought this years and years and years ago as a Christmas present for my wife. Um, I had the installer put it in the guy I bought it from, and not one of these connections was any more than just um, hand wired to exposed wire, and then and then uh, taped over with electrical tape. Never gave me a problem, <laughs> but it's not how I would have done it. Um, this is kind of how they installed everything. So, um, orange, orange goes to black, which looks like the wire that they cut. The green goes to the green black, and then yellow goes to the other side of the uh, black wire coming out of this connector. So what I'll do is I'll put that, I'll take this off, I'll put the black back to this one. Um, I'll take the wiring off the green. Um, since this car is just going to sit around, I'll probably use the same method they did. But when I put this in the other car, I'll I'll do this properly and probably solder connect them, um, get them right. So anyway, then I, I've got to get underneath the console and figure out where they wired this into the start switch. I'm sure I'll just find more hand wiring so that hopefully about four wires here, and I'll have this out, and then um, everything I need for this car will be. I think everything I needed out of this car will be done at that point. A little more video white goes to yellow gray when I get in here I'll do these one at a time let me clarify that's the that's the heavier 10 gauge um, white goes to yellow gray There's, there is another white but it comes over there I'll get to that in a minute all right looks like the 10 gauge red goes to red looks like green goes to green black looks like yellow goes to solid looks to me like yellow goes to solid green or a solid green there yes indeed so I got green going to green well green purple I guess Yellow going to solid green, red to red, and then the white went off to this um, yellow gray. All right, so orange goes to something I can't see. It's like the white. Going to the white something here, white green, white something I can't quite see. The white looks like it's going to, and the orange, i got to figure that out. Alright, orange goes to gray-orange. 
and white goes to white from what I can tell in here orange to gray orange and this white ah white green white going to white white going to white green so orange orange gray white white green all right you pop out the bottom trim pop out the corner trim piece they ran the ground to the remote start here to the main ground for the wiring of the car just to take it off all right first attempt at color base coat clear didn't go so well um Never done that before. I have done single stage, but I had not done the base coat, clear coat. Uh, put on prime. I did, did sand everything on the uh, on the old paint real good. Took care of a couple of little dings that were in the hood. Everything looks really good as far as that goes. Um, put on the primer. Unfortunately, the primer got a little thick and, and spotty. I thought I roughed it down enough to, that and smoothed it all out, but but apparently I didn't. Put on my first color uh, coat of color, and it just looked awful. Um, it looked blotchy. It didn't look good at all. Uh, I've got just enough to, to do another coat. So I spent the better part of the uh, last couple hours doing nothing but with 600 grit and DA going over this thing, getting it all smooth. I, I did have to wait for it to completely cure before I could do that. Um, once you get going with base coat, clear coat, you, you kind of got to keep right on going. And uh, just after my first coat of, of color on this thing, it looked so horrible, I decided just to stop and let it cure and, and sand it back down. So we're gonna we're gonna make an attempt here. Um, I'm gonna clean this up. I just got done sanding. The first time I tried to paint this, I did have it laying flat. Um, this time I decided I'm gonna hang it. Uh, maybe that'll allow me to see what I'm doing a little bit better. I kind of didn't realize how bad things were getting in, until I was 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 well into it. So I'm hoping this gives me a little bit a little bit better visibility. It's also a lot warmer today. The last time I tried to paint this, it was probably 60 degrees out, which is really too cold to be painting. Uh, today it's 85, so I, I think, fingers crossed, this is going to come out good. Um, so I'm going to gonna get at it. Uh, I don't want anything in, in here in, in the paint dust and anything else, so it's going to be a picture before and after rather than me, me doing it. So here goes nothing. All right, status update. I got about three coats of uh, color on here coming out way better than it did the first time I tried this um, but you can kind of see in the picture it still looks a little blotchy to me I've got just enough left in the gun to, to give one more coat so I'm, I'm hoping I can can even that out and maybe maybe as all this cures that'll sort of flatten itself out and and uh, not show through but I'm gonna get my one more coat on this thing that'll actually be four coats of base which is probably more than you're supposed to use but I figured I won't I won't hurt anything by doing it um, then I'll get into the clear and uh, we'll clear coat this thing we're gonna call it good um, if it looks really really horrible when I'm all said and done I guess we'll be off to my to my auto body guy and I'll have have the professional do it um, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot I have the material so we're gonna go ahead and try it get it all the way to base I don't think it looks that bad um, certainly a uh, certainly a lot better than it was the first time I tried uh, at least everything is even now uh, the last time I did this, it was it was very uneven, and I just didn't like it at all. So, onward. All right, I'm underneath the freestyle, and the last job we haven't done yet is changing the the Volvo Haldex fluid. Um, I've already taken the muffler down, which which you really want to do to give yourself a little extra room. You have to take the drive set shaft off. Um, all of our star bolts there you've got to pull out the pump that's how you actually drain the fluid out I'm going to try not to take the all-wheel drive module down I don't, I don't want to do that I think there's enough room here it'll come down you can see well, maybe you can't see but there's the filters just above the pump so you got to drop the drive shaft um, I'm going to chance it you're supposed to put a new seal on for the flange I, I'm going to run short on time so I'm going to go ahead and do it without doing that and uh, just hope and get away with it We'll, uh, we'll change the fluid, take some brake cleaner. If you go out on the internet, there's lots of videos of people doing this on Volvos. It's the same system. It's a Volvo system uh, on the back of the car. Um, drop the center bearing. I can't remember whether I have to drop... I can't remember whether I have to drop this uh, cross member or not. 
Uh, I did this once before on our old freestyle. Um, if I have to, it's just four eight mil bolts. And uh, we'll, we'll drop it down and see what we gotta do.